is peace. Peace. Yeah. Hey everyone, it's me, Vakisa, and welcome back to the Canva Cafe. And we are still on Canvamus, and we're going to be making these two flyers today. Um, you can make them as simple as you want, or you could be extra like me. So we're going to get started. That was the slow start. <laughs> So you can start off with whatever size background you want to use and we are using red you can use whatever color you want to and i'm going to try to hover over a lot of the things i use so you can see the keywords that i use so i'm searching um i believe it's city um skylines you can blow it up because child i don't know what i wrote and you can choose whatever you would like i would uh recommend you choosing something closer to the color of what you're using i'm not but don't listen to what I, <laughs> don't pay me no attention. <laughs> so I'm going to place it at the top and I'm just going to stretch it out to my liking. And the main thing is to try to get the images, of course, of the city into the, um, on your, on your canvas. Now, once I do that, I'm going to use a transparent, Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to make it transparent first. And I couldn't remember what I did, so I had to scroll back up to the top to see what I had did previously. And I put it at a 21% transparency. And now I'm going to use this transparent um, gradient. And you can use other things to blur it out, but today I just wanted to use this because it gave it a, a softer type of look. And at first I put it to the top because I thought I was making this other flyer because I, I had already made uh, several <laughs> by the time uh, I made this tutorial on here. So I forgot what I was doing. That's why I duplicated it, uh, I really didn't mean to, so disregard that. So, disregard me flipping it up also. <laughs> but you can also do that, and you'll see we'll actually do that in a surprise flyer remake in a little while, but stay tuned for that. So we're using the dual tone so that way I can change that transparent to the exact same red. So whenever you have elements that aren't exactly the color you need, you can go into the dual tone and customize the colors yourself. All right, so now I got rid of the other one and now I'm going to flip it back the other way in the original position and I'm going to slide it to kind of blend where the photo ends at the bottom and the red starts. And I'm gonna try to blow it up so you can see. So remember the transparent, the bottom part of it, the color is more, um, more intense. Uh, that's not the word I'm looking for, but I can't think, I haven't eaten breakfast yet, okay. And you can still see a slight line there. Um, if it doesn't really bother you, you can um, leave it because it is going to be on social media and people aren't really going to see it that much, but you can always duplicate it and then slide it up again so that the, um, the more, why well, can't I think you see what I'm doing and I, I duplicate it again and you can do as many times as you need to, to blur, blur out the edge. And then I'm going to just, um, group them all together. And then I'm gonna lock it so as I design, I won't end up accidentally moving it. And as you can see, I'm gonna click it and it won't move after I lock it. See, now look, I'm trying to move it, it won't move. My hair, it don't move. Okay, so now to save a little time, I'm just gonna copy and paste some of the text. And if you look up in the left, you'll see what text I'm using because the text is engaged so you can see it. And now we're going to add this little sleigh. And 
and I'm going to remove the background and I'm going to be using the old Canva, Canva editor because I like it better and because it gives me all these options of shadows that I love from previously and I think I use the shadow that is the page lift. So I'm just going to stretch out this sleigh. You can look and see and I will come back if I need to expand on anything. Now, once again, I don't remember if that's the same exact shad shadow, shadow, flowers, it's probably clouds that I used from the previous one, but child, it was one of them. And like I said, I'm hover over it so you can always see the names of the elements I use. Because I hate when people be doing tutorials and I would be wondering, well, what's the name of that one, you know, and they don't never. So I try to. And special shout out to my dad. I'm going to be 50 in a couple months and he still sends me money for Christmas. So I had to pause the video because they was calling me, him and my sister. Thank you, daddy. Thank you. I started tearing up because you don't understand. You know, parents don't have to send you something after a certain age, but God, God is good to me. Thank you. So now we're gonna add this little bow because when I design, I like to use unusual things as things to write on. A lot of people just use squares and, and you know, just a regular square or a box, you know, shape. But I like to find little fun things. And these are things I used to do and teach inside of my um, Canva membership. It's like, it was like a creative membership class. So once again, we are just dropping the text again. I just copied and pasted it. And if you want to see how I did that, when you type out your words, you just use this line thing right here and it helps you to space out the letters. So that's how I did it. So I didn't want to um, not let you know how I did that. So after I said, I don't like to use plain squares, here I am using a plain square, <laughs> but you know, child. So now I'm gonna change the color of the square and what I'm gonna do is use the gradient function. So to make the square a little bit more interesting and I know it's not a square anymore, it's a rectangle, okay? And so I'm gonna make the other half white and what I'm gonna do, if you slide that little circle thing right there that I'm sliding, it helps to make the color transparent. So if I wanted the red side transparent, I would click the um, red color and slide it and also make it more transparent. So I'm just copying and pasting again. I'm just going to type out, um, visit us online. I believe that's what it says. And then you would put your website. In my case, I put the canvacafe.com. Or you could put your Instagram, the Canva Cafe or Tresses Leche <laughs> on Instagram. Or you could put your YouTube, the Canva Cafe. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe. drop happy uh canvas in the comments so i know that you made it this far and then i'm gonna click the word and the square and i'm gonna hit the position function and it helps to align the word and the rectangle um properly i did that i think a few seconds ago or or not i don't remember but I'm just doing the effect around the text, uh, shadow effect, so the white letters can pop off of the um, little rectangle a little bit more. So I'm just increasing the blur a little bit and making that black uh, all the way black. Just so the words don't disappear on that little rectangle down there at the bottom. I can't decide if I want to zoom in or zoom out. What's going on here? So like I said, I'm going to click the words and then, oh no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I click the box and I'm going to do a border. So I put it like on number two, I believe. And then I want the border to resemble, resemble a little gold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the little dropper tool 
But as you can see, I have trouble too sometimes. So sometimes that's why it takes me a while to do some of these um, tutorials because sometimes the app be acting up. So I'm just going to hover over the goal just so it can resemble a little goal. So now the border looks like a little gold, you know, line. And this flyer, oh, I was getting ready to say it's almost finished, but you know how I do. We got one more thing, one more. I'm going to add these um, little candies to the side and just position them. And I'm going to also add a drop shadow. And there you are. It's so pretty. And you see these fonts here? You can switch up and substitute the text for these candy fonts. And I'm going to speed up everything else, I think, really quick. And you're going to see me revamp the flyer. So let me know which one you prefer, this red one or the black one, or you don't care. <laughs> But thank you for watching and you can just watch as I revamp and do a little extra stuff. Okay. Okay. It's me again. <laughs> So I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. I decided to put a little border behind the word because with the candy cane right there, it's a little hard to read it. So I'm going to make it a little bit transparent. I'm going to change it to red. I'm going to soften the edges so it's a little rounded. And then when I look back and realize, um, I decided to change the words from black and put it back in white. So although I sped it up, I try to not do it too fast. So if you want to follow along, you can, and you're able to see the screen on the side with all the adjustments that I'm doing. And I'm zooming in so you can see that background is a little transparent. And so I'm going to change the font into white. And I'm going to add a drop shadow onto the candy cane. And the one I'm using is a page lift in the old Canva editor. And I decided to add a piece of candy because I'm greedy. <laughs> and I'm going to add another shadow. And I think this one is called the backdrop shadow. Also in the old Canva photo editor. And now the flyer is finished, but we're going to switch it up. So I just duplicated the page and I'm just going to revamp everything. I'm just unlocking and ungrouping those, um, transparent gradients and then I'm going to go back inside the duo tone and switch it out from red to black and as you can see the one at the top I did flip it so that the red could be at the top and the second one I'm just gonna change it to all black just so it could blend in the black with the bottom of the city skyline if that makes sense and hey, it's basically done. So thank y'all for coming. We'll have refreshments afterwards at the Canva Cafe. And look, I changed up the font. I used that candy um, cane font right here. I just picked all the letters, put them together. Bye, y'all.
Christmas is peace. Peace. Yeah.